Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel today. We're going to be doing a fantasy draft of only sniper player types. And we're going to see how they can do. And what kind of team I can draft with only snipers. So, I think you know the drill by now. We randomize the team. I will look into the camera and try to prevent green screen glare. Because it is outrageous. But anyway, I'm going to be stopping in approximately now. We get the Golden Knights. Hmm, interesting. I'm going to say we get pick 11 again. I'm just going to throw it out there. And we get pick 24. <laughs> Pretty close to last time, actually. Kirill the Thrill is a sniper. All right. So there you have it. I'm going to be selecting him. And I guess for defense, we could do only offensive defensemen. Or I could just build the defense however I want. But I think offensive defensemen kind of makes the most sense for a sniper's only draft. So, yeah. I think we'll go that route. Jake Gensel, sniper. Didn't do so well for me in the last draft. Maybe he'll make up for it this time. Drake Batherson. Ooh, 86 overall center sniper. What a king. Yes, sir. I will be selecting Markstrom with $6 million, 90 overall. He does have no abilities, but I think that's a risk I'm willing to take. I'm going to take Eric Brandstrom just because I can, you know? Oh, Phillips Adina. I'm going to come back for him. So let's get Brandstrom and then hope Zedin is still there. We're getting a little bit crazy with it today. And you know what? Eli Tolvanen is right there as well. But can we get Zedina? Yes or no? I feel like yes, but this whole sorting thing is just really <laughs> messing stuff up. And we've officially gotten to low elite. So I think he is actually gone. What about Holtz? Alexander Holtz. 77 overall. Not bad. I think there was... Wasn't there a 79 player I was looking at? Eklund. Two-way forward. No can do. Eli Tolvanen. Sure, why not? $8 million offensive defenseman Brent Burns. I will be grabbing him for the team, but yeah, I'm getting a little bit worried about the cap. Justin Falk is an offensive defenseman. $6.5 million. And he shoots right. That's a bonus. Cam Atkinson has three abilities. 5.8, little extreme. But I am going to be picking him up for the squad nonetheless. Yeah, we have a lot of picks to go, and we have put a big dent into our cap already. Let's go with Suter. I mean, he is making 3.2, but that's not that bad. He is a sniper, center slash left wing. Okay, deal. Jeff Carter, I know that he's going to be here for a while, but I think I'm just going to grab him now while we can. Ryan Merkley is an offensive defenseman. So that will work. Robertson, is he a sniper? I think he is. So we could maybe get Robertson and we could also get Veselainen, which I think we've had them on a line before. Yeah, we'd have too many centers at that point, but one of them could play the wing. Not a big deal, right? So on that note, I will first be grabbing Merkley and then I will be grabbing Robertson. Ooh, Kevin Shattenkirk. Bring him back for the return. 3.9 million. But he is a right-handed offensive defenseman. So, I will not be passing that up. Veselainen, low elite potential, is a left wing slash right wing. 75 overall for under a milli. Our team is probably not going to be great. I just wanted to go pretty unorthodox this time. And, you know, I'm still grabbing a lot of players that we've had in the past. But I'm trying to grab a bunch of new faces. Although we have had Robertson and Veselainen before as well. I'm just trying to switch things up, you know? That's the best way to put it. I'll take Hoffman at 4.5. He's 82 overall. And I feel like, you know what? We're not hurting for cap as much as we were before. It's still going to be pretty close, but I think we can handle it. I also realize I never took a backup goalie. So hopefully we can find a good option here. Mike Smith. I know that I picked him because he had two abilities before, but I think he did really bad for me last time I drafted him. Did he? I'll give him another shot. Fun fact, Mike Smith also plays Bubbles on the Trailer Park Boys. Yeah, so obviously I know it's not the same guy. I found that out by accident because I googled Mike Smith one time. I think it was for a video that I was trying to make. And I had to look something up about him. And yeah, I, it came up with the, the actor for Bubbles. And I was blown away. As an 82 overall defenseman making under a million, I think Sonk is a great pick. So I will also not pass up on that. We need... What do we need now? Two more forwards and we're done. Wow. All right. And we have 12 million. What the heck? Tomas Tata is a sniper. Sure is. And he is making 4.5. So we will be able to 
pick pretty much anybody for our final pick here. Because we're going snipers only, it's pretty limited. Jesper Fast, and he is a right winger, which will help out big time. Yep, sniper. Okay, 2 million. So we have a bunch of cap left over. So maybe we can make some trades at the deadline if there's any snipers on the block. But let's go ahead and put our team together. Hopefully, we're all right. Quick overview of the draft. Our defense are good, in my opinion. Very good, actually. Our offense... I forgot we got Kirill. That's huge. We got Kaprizov, Drake Batherson, and Gensel in the first line gets a plus three. Our second line is decent. Third line, yeah, decent. And then our fourth line is a dash three, but our ice time allocation is roll three lines, so I'm not that concerned about it. Defensively, we got Falk and Burns with a plus two, Merkley and Yandel with a plus one, and then, yeah, Shattenkirk and Brandstrom get a dash two. It is roll all pairings, but we'll have to live with that and then we got markstrom and smith so i'm gonna say we don't make the playoffs i will say kirill gets the most points with 70 i don't think we're gonna do too well but i suppose only time will tell at this point i'm also just gonna double check that all these players are indeed snipers so on our offense we are okay defense offensive defensemen yep and goalies doesn't really matter they don't have well they do have player types but <laughs> you can't really associate one of those with an offensive goaltender. Okay, 2-0 to start the year. That's not bad, but I know that we're going to come crashing down eventually. Or not. Nah. Yo, what's going on? We were 7-0 to start the season. Are we actually good, maybe? Nope, the game just wanted to get my hopes up so they could crush me. You know those, like, hydraulic press YouTube videos where they just crush random things? EA Sports operates that, and they throw my hopes and dreams under that thing for a video every single day. Imagine starting a season 7-0 and and then cooling off this hard. We basically came in like the sun and then did the Arctic plunge. And here we are. But trade deadline. Maybe there's some snipers we could pick up. I'm gonna list us as a buyer, enter the deadline, or maybe an offensive defenseman as well. Those are all options. Forsberg. Likely not a sniper. And I think Giroux... Actually, Giroux might be. Yeah, two-way. All right, so no thank you. But what about Giroux? Can we see from here? Oh, he's a playmaker. Dang it. Offensive defenseman. I, no, no, that's not a thing. I don't want him there. I don't believe that there are. Two-way forward for Nichushkin. Yeah. Feel the thrill. I mean, we could, he's probably pretty easy to get, to be fair. So we could try it. I'm going to try giving Buffalo Rajaniemi and a third for next year. Trade accepted. Well, we got a sniper. I did best lines and this is the offense that it gave me. Defensively, it keeps putting in a player that I didn't draft. So I have to keep subbing out for Merkley. And then I just move him up here because it gets the plus one and then we could have a pretty stacked third pairing. And yeah, our goalies still going to be Markstrom and Smith. So Phil the Thrill is going to be there on the second line now. I wonder what happens if I move him up. Ooh, no, I'm not going to do that. That'd be interesting, but no. He must stay on the first line. All right, well, let's proceed. Oh, man, at least we're doing better than Minnesota. They are struggling. And they beat us 2-1, because that's just how things work. I guarantee, if I didn't say anything about their record, we would have demolished them. We are currently sat fifth in the division. Sixth now. Yeah, it's we have to win all these games, and... Basically hope for a miracle. Oh? Nah, we didn't make it. It was a good last-ditch effort, though. So there we go. We finished fifth in the Pacific Division with 86 points. The Ducks with 90 up there. So we weren't even really that close. But, you know, we we came within the, the final few games. So that was nice. At least we, we weren't out after the deadline kind of thing, you know? And if we go to the entire league, let's see. So the Smashville Predators ended up... Winning? Who did they draft? They got Patch Ready, Drysidle, and oh, they got Timothy Jimothy. That explains everything. Shabbat, Klingberg, with you see what I see in net. OEL and Rathbone on the second pair. They have a pretty good team. I'll give it to them. Let's see if it was the top 16 that made it. It was not. The 19th place Colorado Avalanche finessed the Maple Leafs, the Panthers, and the Flyers. Jake Gensel had 68 points for us. He was a dash nine. Kirill the Thrill was a dash 17. We got 18 from Falk, but he put up 55 points as a defenseman. 31 goals for Kirill, which is solid. Uh, Carter did pretty good, putting up 50 points. Was a dash 10, however. Let's go to the bottom here. Veselainen, 
Didn't do a whole lot. He only played 63 games. I guess, yeah, he got taken out for Phil the Thrill. He is listed as a fourth line forward. I think he went up in overall. Did Robertson? Uh, yeah, he was at 75. Fast. Brandstrom went up to an 83. Merkley, or yeah, he was like an 80, I think. Merkley was a 75, so I think he went up one. Holvin in at 82. He started at 79. We did see some player growth throughout the year. Our goalies did about the same. We got 30, 30, and 4 from Markstrom with two shutouts and a 902, 284. Very similar save percentage and goals against average, but, you know, half the games for Mike Smith. He went 10, 8, and 2 with a single shutout. Let's check out the league, shall we? You see what I see led the league with 43, a 914 save percentage. We got a 924 from Jake Ottinger. That is very cool to see. He had 40 wins on the year. The Rangers must have done quite well. Uh, Vili Husso, a 910. Flurry with a 919. Let's check out defenseman. Spurgeon with 69 led the league. OEL got 64. He was on the second pairing of the President's Trophy winning. Nashville Predators. Adam Fox got 62. Where the heck is Kale McCarr? There he is. He's down here. He put up 54 on the Tampa Bay Lightning. So there's your defense. And now if we go to our forwards, we can see that Malkin wins the Art Ross with 96. No one broke 100. Sid the Kid with 95. Philip Forsberg was on the block and he ended up putting up 93 points. That is something special. Goudreau with 92. McDusty 91. And there you go. What's your room? No, he's... Yeah, we checked. Okay. It would have been nice to grab him, but... Was not in the cards, clearly. Time to simulate the playoffs. How will things go for these other teams? We are not in. Did not qualify, but, you know, we tried our best. The Tampa Bay Lightning go on to win the Stanley Cup. Okay. All right. I'm trying to remember if I can... Yeah, I can't recall any players on their team. I'm sure I'll recognize it when I look at the standings, but... Uh, let's go to, let's just go to the Atlantic, Tampa Bay. They have JT Miller, John Tavares, and Travis Konechny. Okay, so no, I didn't know anybody except for Kale McCarr. And they paired him with Muzzin, Palat, Duchesne, and Lawton. Uh, Allison? Like, that bottom six is interesting to say the least. Evan Rodriguez is there, which, yeah, that makes sense. But other than that, okay, call him Blackwell, yeah. Uh, they got Barry Lindholm on the second pair. And their third pair is pretty decent. Flower and Net backed up by Grubauer. Let's check out the awards. So as we know, the Stanley Cup went to Tampa Bay, Smashville with the Presidents, and LA made it to the Stanley Cup Finals. Malkin with the Art Ross and the Hart. OEL gets the Norris. Johnny Goudreau with the Lady Bing. Boldy gets the Calder. Duchesne with the Con Smythe. Ottinger gets the Vesna and the Jennings. Congrats to him. Myers with the Bill Masterton. Sharma gets the Jack Adams, Couturier with the Selkie, Ted Lindsay goes to Malkin, and the Rocky Richard goes to Overchicken. Check out the playoff tree, see how it all went down. There you have it. So there was a total of, I see, three, four, five. Five game sevens, which is not bad, I suppose, and a sweep in the Stanley Cup Finals. You don't like to see that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. Tell me which player type you want to see next, or just what draft you want to see next, and... Yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon.